I know you were like, you know, especially when Cross had started before you were really, really deep into the piano, mm -hmm. you're into these synth sounds. Do you ever fuck around with one of those like Roland synth pickups? Big yeah, track, like I, shit, I, actually, but like, I actually had a GR uh, 700, the old yeah, ones the with the, the Star Trek looking guitars. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And those were a little, the latency was crazy it's so on mad. those. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they looked really cool. It's almost not usable. But um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I will buy any synth pedal or anything and just try it but a lot of the, a lot of them they just really haven't made something that i really like that's this usable yet for me anyway um but yeah i i love i love trying to get the guitar to not sound, sound like, like a guitar, guitar you yeah, know like that's, that. that's 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 so within the fm9 are you building the set list by like song by song yeah okay so that's mm -hmm. how you're definitely going about it yeah well, beyond that, I see a couple, you know, I know that you're using the, the Chase Bliss Mood, which is such a sick pedal. Like, yeah. Man, those guys make, everything they make is incredible. Yeah, every, I, I instant buy. Yeah, yeah, me. totally. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me how you came to the pedals that are on your board. Because I know in the studio, you're probably experimenting with Yeah, everything. I mean, I have a ton of pedals at home. Um, you know, the, 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 this, you know, Electro Harmonics, um, you know, synthesizer pedal is, is, it's been, it was, I bought it off, on, on this, like, Weird guy on Craigslist, you know, like a and, uh, McDonald's parking lot situation. Yeah, it was weird. I went to his house, and it was, he was just kind of weird. But he had this guitar, he had this pedal, and he had told me it's been modified, man. And I don't, you know, I don't really know what was up with it, but it's been modded. And I mean, I even opened it up once, and it looked like somebody did some stuff in there. A home job on it. Yeah, yeah. and because I've tried, I, I mean, just for the sake of real estate, I've tried. I bought a, I bought yeah. a smaller version of it, and it just doesn't do the didn't thing. didn't do what this does. So I actually met this guy the other day that um that, that makes you know pedals and and he'll mod you know modify, but he'll make clones of certain things, sure. even weird stuff. And he's like, man, if you could, once you're done with this tour, if you could send me that pedal, I will I'll figure make, out what it is. Because I yeah. want something that's just in a little tiny box, right? Because I literally that's, that's a, a lot that of for real me. That's that's a set it and forget it. I don't touch those settings on it, so it, it's it's just ready to go. Um, but it is a weird pedal and it it reacts different. Right. It's almost like to get it to react the way I want it to react, I have to hit the strings hard, but also mute them at the same time. It's the I, I don't know how I learned to do it, but it's it's hit, literally. Is like, there a, a way to hear? Just yeah, it's like it's like. So 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 if you just hit it, it's just. You know, it's like. Like I'm almost muting at the same time. It's almost like you have to mute it to restart the frequency. Yeah, I think that's I yeah. think that's what it is. And and you know, I wish I I mean I wish Fractal made a a, a a clone of that in in the in in you know a block of that but they don't you know right. i i used to 10 years ago when we went out a last on tour i was using actually i was using guitar rig native oh, instruments yeah. okay and they have that in there they have that Weird. they have that pedal in there and it it's and actually it's pretty, pretty good so i i could you know but now i mean guitar rigs you know it's it's uh, that was a while ago yeah well, maybe uh, the guy when you send him send it to him, you can not only make it a little bit smaller, but like add some MIDI capability and shit, so you can. Yeah, really, I mean, really that, that would be great. Yeah, because I, mean, I because they are fun, but man, that's a big ass pedal. I know it's huge, huge. man. Yeah, and yeah. you could probably fit three where that. One oh, I know, is. I know. Yeah. yeah. And then is this just some sort of buffer that, or an AB switch? That's an AB switch. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Cool, and then. FM nine over here, FM nine back here as well. Yeah. Is this a backup or is it? Just it's, so you can well, use it, it it's while... A, it's a backup, but it's also... That's that's where uh, my lap seal is running into that. Oh, so that's Because my, my lap the... seal is not coming out of the cans because that thing is very loud and very aggressive. And I think when we were in rehearsals, Chino was just... He just couldn't hear himself because... They're they, pretty they, ice picky. They're, they're, they're hard to control. Yeah. Um, so we ended up being like, well, we could use the backup and then run that direct so it's just going to into a cab simulator to, to house and then so they can control it. So he's not getting you know? killed on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Now, with, uh, how do, uh, just curious with, 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 with this lap steel, are you running like a, like a standard, like an E9 or whatever, C9 I think is what? No, it's actually, um, you know, 
when I, when I, I, I got that thing probably, man, I don't know. It was, it was, you know, 2010 maybe. Uh, but I was really inspired by what made me want to get one was like Daniel Lanois. Like Shit, you see yeah, it, yeah. like, and so I got one and then I realized pretty, pretty quickly that, uh, I'm not Daniel Lanois on that thing. Uh, I bought one which is, around which is, the same which, time. Which is fine, you know, which is dirt. fine. So I said, you know, I'm gonna figure out what I can do to make something cool. And so like, it's all just tuned to one string, at one note, the whole thing, low and high. And um, so and I feel like, and I feel like by doing that, I kind of created, I mean, I hate to say it, but I kind of, I That's feel not. like I created my own thing, yeah. you know, cause I've never seen anyone else do that, you know, like sure. maybe they have, I don't yeah. know, but, um, you know, yeah, maybe I need to explain somebody in the, somebody in, somebody in the, somebody in the, somebody in the comments is going to call me out, but you know, oh, oh, about so this guy. so man, he did that way long yeah. ago, you know, but anyway. well, that's, that's a fun little taste just because obviously with a bar, you're getting bends and shit you would never get yeah, it's with fun. a guitar. I, I love playing that thing. Also see an Ebo over here, which I'm a huge fan of. Yeah. I think they just sound so fucking cool. And obviously it, I feel like it really fits crosses. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm sure you're Definitely. using that quite yeah. a bit. So this, this, on one song, we, we actually t tune this down to a the top string and that's you know another reason why the low string so and it's really i just played two notes on the whole song on the guitar it's mo mostly on the synth but it's just you know it's a big aggressive <laughs> And there's a you know there's a pitch block in there too that's, sure. that's going down yeah. a, a, an octave down. It's kind of blowing me away. But it's only, only only like you know probably twenty percent or something. It's wild how accurately it does like an eight string you know like yeah. a very very like yeah. That's wild. Are you ever in a situation where you're on the FM or on the guitar and also playing synth like? Never like at the same time. I'm no. Not, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that good. Well, <laughs> I guess let's hit a couple of your FM9 core sounds. So this is like, a, I mean, another one, it's just, it, it's just a, lot of, a lot of these sounds will just be very like shoegazy, dreamy, sure. like tons of high octaves, delays, you know. Just... Yeah, yeah, That's another one where I'm using the, you know, I'm using the Bigsby a lot yeah. on that one. Just the modulate, um, yeah, man. It's such a, like a church organ-y. Yeah, <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. like I said, I, I, I use, I, I definitely flex this uh, CPU in here, you know. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, take me to, uh, like, um, yeah, take me to protection real quick, actually. <laughs> So this is another one where it's pitched down. I don't know how much it's pitched down. I mean, maybe it's just an octave. It's just oh, back. Wow. You know, so it's like another, um, I don't know, it's another so on the record, are you actually playing bass? Because it sounds, it's to me, it sounds like you could probably approximate it or get away with just using pitch blocks and a guitar. Yeah, there's 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 bass, but for this, like, I thought about bringing a bass out, but I was just like, I don't know, it's just too much, you know. Yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, uh, take me to uh, uh, pleasure. So here's one where like, um, I I actually go to the expression pedal. Oh, cool. You know, it's just like. Um, yeah, so it's just so fun. It's yeah. almost like the wall pedal from hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's got like a there's like a synth engine on there. And, right. And um yeah. So fun. Pitch down. Man, uh, you're you're getting so many sounds out of uh, out of a pretty yeah, yeah. compact, concise yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I situation. Love, I love this thing.